Hi there, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. If you're watching us in the Eastern Time Zone, happy Halloween. If you're out West, do not open your door. I don't know what that means. We've been celebrating this night before Halloween with a collection of some of the most respected horror films of the 1940s, all of them from producer Val Luton. Up next from 1943, it's The Leopard Man. Just a year earlier, Val Luton was hired by RKO to head a division to make horror movies. Luton's deal was that he'd be given a small budget, usually about $150,000, and then just a title, in this case, The Leopard Man. And with that money and that title, Luton would turn around and make a movie, usually shooting it in a matter of weeks. This was Luton's third film under his RKO deal. That title, The Leopard Man, came as a bit of a challenge to Luton to see if he could create the same magic he did with his first film, Cat People. Luton made Cat People for under $150,000, and then it brought in over $4 million, becoming RKO's biggest moneymaker of the year. So now, Luton was being asked to do it again with another story about unusual people, big cats, and murder. The story is set in New Mexico. Early in the film, a leopard escapes during a publicity stunt, leading to a series of rather grisly deaths. But there may be more to the leopard killings than meets the eye. As you're watching, note the lighting, the use of shadows, how suspense and terror are built, not by what we see, but by what we don't see. Those were the signature elements of the Val Luton style, a style that went on to influence generations of filmmakers. From 1943, starring Dennis O'Keefe and Gene Brooks, it's the third and final Val Luton film directed by Jacques Turner, The Leopard Man. 